Hi, this is Matt with Soundtrack Loops. What I'm going to show you today is really cool and neat. I'm going to take our latest sound pack, Island Party Tools, and I'm going to load them up into the new Push 2. I'm going to use that using Simpler, and I'm going to use the drum rack. What we're going to do is make some really funky, cool beats. So let's watch. All right, let's get started. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to add a new device by clicking Add Device. To do that, I'm going to scroll to our personal sound library of Island Party Tools. So here, then we're going to go to the kits, and we're just going to, let's just try kit number four, and we'll move in. Oh, that's fun. So let's load that. What it's doing automatically is it's bringing up the WAV file, which is awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change it from classic mode and we're going to change it to slicing. Now you see all these great little slices. It's very much like Recycle. Pretty cool, but automatic. I love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the sensitivity. And as you see, these lights start going down. So let's test them. Super fun. So let's go ahead and keep that. So what I want to do is change it now to a drum rack so I can sequence it. I'm going to hit convert. It says convert to drum rack. Let's go ahead and push that. It's pretty amazing. Now we have drums. So here we go. Let's just start it off. Let's So, and if we want to change the slice, because it's just kind of a little off, it's very, you just see how I do that? I kind of like that. So maybe we'll keep that. You know, and we just keep going. You can add repeats. There you go. A quick little tutorial on how to use Island Party Tools Mix Beats, load them up into your Push 2, and create new drum patterns out of it. Pretty awesome.